Okay, things that you're not supposed to be able to do with a VMC. This is an Inchu VMC 400 mid 80s machine. I'm getting ready to put these part or this part in. You see the starting of a regular bolt and then the finished product of what we're trying to do today. Okay, here we have a standard uh, Cat 40 uh, ER32 holder. I've got a stop down inside, so uh, we have a, a solid stop on this, so the gauge length should stay the same. I'll try to put this in here from this angle. So I just stick the screw in there and it bottoms out, and uh, I'll tighten it up and put it in the machine. All right, so you see, uh, got the tool loaded in the machine. There's a stainless steel uh, bolt hanging out of it. And we look down here and we see our fixtures, or uh, turning tools. We have two of them, we have a rougher and a finisher. The only drawback to doing this uh, is it's taking a little bit longer than I'd like it to. And I couldn't take a real big pass because it is a tough stainless. I think it's a 303, 304 stainless. And uh, so anyway, but I didn't have any other way to do the part. So this is what I'm doing today. Oh, and by the way, I did use a um, sub-program, STEM 98, uh, P, you know, L program, loop through, uh, so it's got an incremental little pass that I, I put in it. It's only taking off 10 thousandths per pass, and honestly, it's probably a little slow on the feed, but I just really didn't want to sit here and mess with this. I'm just kind of plugging these parts in when I walk by the machine, so... And here we have the finished pass. And there's a nice shiny little part. Very few burrs, Finny, and uh, it's kind of what the customer wanted. So it's a real simple deal, but 